Great day of togging out here, early May, Buzzards Bay. It's an awesome way to start the season. So one of the things I like most about the tog fishing is its simplicity. It's early May, so I've, uh, oftentimes I find the tog fishing is the uh, you know, really the kickoff of the good fishing season with good eating fish um, that are easily accessible. Now finding them is a trial and error process. What you're going to want to do is look at your chart and look for a series of rock piles in about 20 to 25 feet of water. Now once you locate one of these rock piles, as indicated by good structure on your fish finder, you'll want to anchor right over the spot. Using as little weight as possible, I find one and a half to three ounces to be ideal, you want to fish with fresh cut green crabs on the bottom. Now if you don't have green crabs, fresh cut clams will work in a pinch. You know, if it is a little windy, it's a good alternative to perhaps striper fishing uh, where you can anchor. So one thing you want to do is anchor over rock piles or structure that you find on your chart. Uh, here I have a, it's basically a high-low rig. Some people would call this a chicken rig. The Hoagie, uh, Hoagie Lure Company manufactures these and we call them the utility rig. So here I've thread on two small 1-0 live bait hooks and attached a uh, small, some people would call this a casting sinker. Um, others may call it a dipsy sinker, but a small sinker at the end. Fishing with live crabs, just waiting for the subtle taps of the tog. And, and uh, tog fishing, another nice thing is it tends to be in shallow water. Today we're in about 26 feet of water. I'm going to let this rig all the way down to the bottom. Wait for the uh, you know, telltale tog bite, which is a couple hits and then your rod pulls down just a little more. And a uh, you know, long sweeping motion is a good um, method for setting the hook on a tog. Oh! Decent tog here. Put the bottom hook. Some healthy fish. Not the biggest tog I've ever seen, but this one's perfect for the table. What I love about early May tog fishing is its simplicity. You know, a simple dropper rig, which in this case is a hoagie utility rig. 25 feet of water, few crabs, wait for the tap, set the hook, and it's fish chowder time. Now to uh, prepare a crab for fishing, I'm gonna cut the legs off. And a nice pair of kitchen shears. I take out this hard shell on the top here, discard it, the same on the other half. And now I have two good bait sized pieces. We try and hook it through the uh, uh, leg hole or right through one of the leg joints, and then we're good to go. Most important thing about togging is to keep your bait on the bottom. There he is. That's a tog right there, boys and girls. Bringing them in. Another nice early May tog aboard the Grey Goose. Having a great day out here. Wow, John, that's, uh, that's much a, bigger than mine. That's a good yeah. tog. That's a good tog right there. So this rig will work for just about any ground fish species, but very simple rig, easy to use, easy to rig, and very durable. So another nice tog. Now one little tip I like to have when bottom fishing, so if you leave a rod's length of line, that allows you to put the rod in the holder and grab the line. Tight, Captain. And swing the fish right over to the boat. And now I have both hands free, the deck's free. I'm gonna move my rod. I can take my rod with me so John can fight his fish. That's a good tog. So nice early May day here in Buzzards Bay. The tog are biting. You know, we had to uh, work for a little bit. We fished to a slack tide. Now that it's cooking, going the other direction, the bite is heated up, so it's more sticking out in the spots. We're uh, catching fish using green crabs on our hoagie utility rig, uh, which is basically a high-low rig where we can interchange the hooks. Little live bait hooks to doing the trick. Doing the trick.